One sec. Well, today I'm going to show you how to start up a TD9. Because I live in a place where any crawler type tractor is known as a cat, this is Clifford, the big red cat. And because Clifford starts up in a manner that's, well, somewhat unconventional, as well as the fact that old equipment's just cool and I thought you guys might enjoy it, I figured I'd give you a, a walkthrough of the pre-flight and startup operation of this 1952 International Harvester TD9 tractor. So just because of the flow of things, I'm going to first get up here, get underneath the seat, turn on or connect the battery. Since we're underneath here, I'm going to grab my uh, multi-fuel uh, super duper high-end fuel sensor. I'm going to leave that up. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up the fuel tank here, make sure we have some. Oh yeah, a couple, a few inches worth. That'd be plenty for what we're doing today. Buy clean fuel, keep it clean. All right, now down here, I'm gonna turn on the uh, petcock from the fuel tank to the injection system. And yes, this is in fact, a partial zero emissions vehicle because identical to the uh, Japanese auto manufacturers system where it's not making any emissions when the engines not running Clifford also is not emitting any emissions when the engines not running so next off we're gonna check the gasoline now you gotta check this out this is the cutest thing ever look at this little gas tank goes from here to here like it's about the size of a, a beer growler not awesome I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that petcock while we're here and we'll use the gasoline end oh yeah lots of gas get on there next we come over make sure we got some coolant in there yep we do all right now we're over here to check the earl oh yeah plenty of oil i like that it's got an engine stopped and engine running so that you can check the oil level even when the engine's running. That's pretty cool. Back in here we go. Now, since we're over here, and I mentioned that this thing starts up in an unconventional manner, this is a diesel engine. However, over here, uh, let's see. You have a spark plug. Let me get you in there. You got a spark plug in there. You got another spark plug wire here and here and here. Why do we have spark plugs? Well, we also have a carburetor, an intake manifold. And down here, we have a magneto. Who makes that magneto? I guess it's made by International Harvester. Anyway, we got a magneto and we have a distributor on a diesel engine. What in the? Well, because back in 1952, battery technology and electric motor technology wasn't quite where it is today caterpillar if you are familiar with old tr crawler tractors caterpillar had an extra engine a pony motor that ran on gasoline that stood in place of the uh, of where a starter would be basically well international had a different take on that situation this cat actually has a an electric starter motor but it's not powerful enough the system is not powerful enough in general it can be done i've been told it can be done i haven't managed it myself but uh in general you can't start the diesel high compression diesel engine with the little battery you know regular size battery and the little starter motor so here's what international came up with and i think it's pretty doggone clever 
Uh, as you saw, one side of the engine has got gasoline fittings. The other side of the engine, which you didn't look at real close, has got all your diesel injector pump and all that business. So here's what we do. This lever right here opens up a valve in each combustion chamber that lowers the compression in the engine so that it can be started on gasoline and spark plugs. Here's how we go about that. As I said, we have the decompression lever down. We have the diesel throttle down. There is no throttle control on the gasoline side of things. However, there is a choke. Let me get you down there closer. There's a choke right about here. And since it's cold, we'll give her about half choke. And this right here is the starter. So we'll engage that and see what happens. There's life. This usually takes a number of times. Let me fiddle with the choke a little bit. It is 30, what I think about 31 degrees out right now. What do you want, more choke or less choke? Less choke. gasoline it's doing a few things it's warming up the engine it's warming up the cylinders it's warming up the coolant so despite the fact that it's got this tiny little gas can you gotta let it run especially when it's cold you gotta let it run for a little bit like a few minutes basically is what you do and then once you hear the tone of the engine change you'll hear it run a little better a little better a little better and then once you hear the tone of the engine change you shut off the petcock for the gasoline, you then burn out all of the fuel from the carburetor. And then, and only then, when it dies, then you flip both levers. You flip the decompression lever and you flip the throttle up. And with the momentum of the engine, it'll start it and off you go. We'll see if we can do that all on camera. So we're running pretty good. I'm gonna relieve the choke here. Take care.